right there. Mm -hmm. I want to, um, if anybody, I, I'm pretty sure every single person on my Twitter is a Smash player and is already watching. But I want to spread the word with my Twitter account. Please and you do guys, the same with yours. absolutely. You can see that down there, like hashtag the balk. Uh, or at the bout. There are so many ways, guys. Post us on Facebook. Let your friends know. Do what you can. Because we're only getting started. This may be doubles, but we have over around 100 plus entrants right now. And singles haven't even started. So there's a lot more to go. Oh, my God. And this is so winner's semis. But it looks like, you know, both of these games, such high caliber players, could easily be winner's finals. Yeah, we've got AZ pairing with SoCal. And then SoCal being SoCal pairing with themselves. So, yeah. Oh. All I right. with the uh, the palm spike. Get him. Waiting out the get up attack. And loyal edge guarding. Not an easy thing to edge guard the Wario. That up Not at all. Up B side B mix up. Incredible aerial mobility. Oh, Game Watch with the negative DI, the Squidward <laughs> DI off the side. Whew. Oh my god. Meanwhile, loyal just holding down and pressing A near the Oof. edge. This is a, br it's been 45 seconds and already. Uh, yeah, oh. four stocks are gone, one, another is almost gone. SoCalPM, hitbox.tv slash SoCalPM. Hitbox.tv. Yep, yep, yep. Slash yep, yep. I don't even know where we're streaming. Tell your friends, guys, tell your friends. Here we go. Oh. Oof, all right. Yeah, I mean, he wears the up bang tag for a reason. Um, oh, forward air. Favorable DBZ trade for Bagel. And I didn't see them strike stages, but to be honest, between these four players, I could totally understand them gentlemen, gentlemen's, you know, going yeah, here or however you're going. It would make yeah. sense. I, I know Sosa would. I know IPK would. IPK loses on PS2 and immediately picks back to PS2. Like, he, he just always wants to play on PS2 no matter what. And I love how he just snuck over the top, just picks up Sosa, throws him off the top. And right there, we actually see this. This is very uncommon, but there's people refer to, of course, Game & Watch as bucket breaking, but other characters do have the potential to do it if they do slide off the stage. We saw previously um, we had Bagels go for that side B. Yoshi can actually do it with a double jump. There are other characters that have the ability to do it. It's just it doesn't happen quite as often. Oh, no Edgehog from Royal. This opportunity. Oh! Negative DI from Sosa as well. It's so hard to figure out the right DI in teams. I think that's one of the hardest things. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, you know, in singles, there's way less focus, but in doubles, any single time you're hit, you're like, oh, well, I might take a second hit to kind of potentially finish off the stock. Uh, but oh, bagel. Down throw up B? Is that real? That's bad DI real. Okay, bad <laughs> DI real. IPK's got to, he's got to learn this map. Basically, all of Luigi's throws, you want to DI behind him and you'll have a much easier time. Right, right. Yeah, that's what I, uh, I got comboed a bunch by Quandiverus and then I learned. DI behind Luigi. Oh, Loyal giving him an opportunity to use that misfire. Possibly would have been better to just edge hog, but at that high percent, a down tilt's gonna do it. Sosa took a fight. Oh, bear. Oh no, Sosa had no waft and he just fell right to the abyss. Red team with a 2v1 now. Um, bagels doable. Oh my goodness, he gets the instant ramen noodles in reverse onto the edge with the up smash. And he's just gonna, if he's like, all right, IPK, if you're gonna camp, I'm gonna farm for these misfires. IPK, uh, known for dash dancing in neutral, primarily because Lucario has nothing else to do. Um, very patient player, even though when he gets those opportunities, he just rips them apart. Yeah, and you know, this is, uh, we might even be seeing this later in, in singles, but these two players, oof, I, this is kind of how I could even see. He might be farming for the misfire. Yeah. That's it? Um, oh, he goes oh, for it. Didn't quite do it. But he that's a it. lot of percent. Oh, that's it. No. Oh, my goodness. He was all the way on the left side. <laughs> he finally gets the misfire. That was like his 12th up B in a row or something. Even Loyal flinched at that up smash read. This is SoCal AZ. He's fishing. Yeah. 
And that's really smart, too, because um, it makes IPK tempted to go fight that invincible edge dash. And you never want to do that against Bagels. Oh, again, again. my God. That's got to be called the Bagels at this point. He's so sick at that, like, threatening the aerials on shield. Fastfall, Waveland, read your roll, destroy you. Huge read. And you have Sosa, his teammate, grinning from ear to ear at yeah. that. <laughs> that was <laughs> like, so he's smart. Struggling. He's like... I, I saw you. you. I see you. He's yeah, he is my guy. Messed up my, my fellow SoCal. Dude, and it's it's uh right back to PS2. So right this is back, IPK no is in charge on this team. <laughs> he's wearing the pants. Yeah. But uh No, he's actually wearing like leggings. Same leg. Oh yeah, no, po Pokemon <laughs> leggings nevertheless. I don't know. On Pokemon Stadium, understandable. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I guess they're pants. They just like got that shimmery. We'll, we'll call him leggings just to kind of annoy him when he sees this. <laughs> <laughs> Your evil psycho guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're still four stacks apiece. Surprisingly, not everyone's lost to stock like last oh my game. God. I love the way Bagels is constantly setting up his up bees to edge cancel. What a legend! He does that in melee too, and it's not as easy in melee. I'm pretty sure. I actually, no, I, I retract that. I don't know if that's as easy at all. I feel like it wouldn't be, but I've been wrong before. Interestingly enough, Bagels is just an absolute lab monster. He, I remember there was a tournament, someone was talking about him, and it was just, where where is Bagels? And about an hour after somebody had like kept track of him, he was just sitting at a setup, just practicing his ledge dash. Yeah, I mean, he uses it constantly, and if you mess it up, you die. So, it, you know, it makes sense. He's got to get every frame of invincibility and never take that drawback of just dying instantly. I mean, that's why he's so consistent at it. Up but, B. Uh, oh, dash attack on shield is a setup for up B. Really easy oh for people no. to mess up. <gasps> the aggressive edge guard from Bagels ends up air dodging. A little bit of spaghetti there. Yeah, I think he was trying to tech a move that didn't come out from uh, Lucario. Oh, speaking of spaghetti, Sosa wastes the walk. Yep, blue team uh, already a couple of early flops, but still doable, still doable. Keeping it real close. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot of forward air from Loyal. That is definitely punishable. Mm. Oh, speaking of punishable. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Never mind. IPK, I think intelligently going for that combo on Bagels instead of edge guarding Sosa. Oh, Sosa interrupting Loyal, making sure that his teammate gets back. And Wario's back throw is very good in doubles as well because we're always seeing a lot of throws where it keeps you in place, but that back throw, you get a lot of mobility Ooh. with it. Game and watch up oh, the air. Loyal just finishing off these stocks. And this is looking way better for red team. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably the stage pick, right? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th I think the biggest difference, though, their edge guards have been much, much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at Bagels going for the hard reads with the up smashes. Oof. Yeah, I dare you. Go ahead. There it is. Oh, that was a that was a really good couple of stocks, and uh, Bagels found a misfire. We're essentially back to even. Yeah, no waft from Sosa. He's not going to be able to build that up before the end of the game, most likely. Maybe a mid waft. Yeah, see, right now, blue team doesn't quite have much stage control, but with Sosa's nair there, yeah. they find it. Fought his way back. There's the misfire. <gasps> no, it's Sosa. Yeah, now. Bagel's going to have to pull it out hugely clutch. He did this last game. Now, you know, people always say you got to be careful at the ledge against Game & Watch because of his down tilt, which would make sense, but just like that, don't there flub. There it is. Don't flub. Because <laughs> that mean, happens. Yeah, you, sh you see him, you know, uh, poor guy. One of the, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, un, un not unpredictable, but it, it's uncharacteristic of Bagels because a flub ledge, ledge dash like that yeah. cost him the stock, the game, and we're going to game three. With an even set right now. Yeah, I don't know how frame tight he's going for those ledge dashes, but uh, I was messing around a little bit yesterday with uh, in, in 20XX with uh, Fox. Okay. Just you know, pausing, seeing which frames are which. If you fall off of ledge, jump the next frame. What like which frame can you ledge dash? Right. It's like frame four is ledge dash. Well, frame five is like oh that. <laughs> yeah. Frame three, you're dead. So, <laughs> and frame two, you're dead. So. It's really tight for a lot of characters. I wouldn't be surprised to see Luigi, who is now at 100% thanks to Loyal's combo. Loyal. Oh, Loyal's figured it out, and this is one of the 
big changers is Luigi may seem like he has a phenomenal recovery, and he does. He has a lot of options to get back to the stage. But then again, it's very, very linear. And so far, Loyal's just been capitalizing over and over with a nice beefy forward air, some nice down tilts. Ooh. All right. <laughs> I was just I was just staring mesmerized as, at Bagels as he, like, slowly floated through the air and absolutely nothing happened to him. I was a little confused. Yeah, and we're seeing it a lot. Once again, Bagels loves going to ledge. Most know this. But pretty much every single time, Loyal's meeting him with a down tilt or an F tilt at just the proper spacing to where he's not going to get his invincibility. Oh, I expected a misfire. Starting up a big combo. Oh, oh my god, Loyal has been finishing off stocks like a monster these last two games. Oh, and they were trying to set up Loyal's bucket. Um, like does bucket breaking still work if you actually have something in the bucket? Uh, I believe so, because I'm pretty sure you have to hit B twice to actually release what's inside. Even when it's all the way full? I believe so. I think you have to hit it twice. All right, Game & Watch mains, hit us up. Yeah, I'm sure someone will correct us. It's bound, <laughs> yeah. it's bound to happen. Just read the chat. Okay. Loyal, uh, dash dancing around Sosa's approach. Keeping the pressure up. Meanwhile, Bagel's looking for an edge guard on Lucario. Nothing so far. We're just getting two split 1v1s right now. And... Uh, Bagel's earning his keep off of his ledge dash once again. Oh, the scary dash dance on shield looking for a roll. Loyal not falling for it this time. And that, nope, not quite. And that's actually interesting too because we haven't seen too many capitalization uh, or, or combos off of IPK's up B. He usually gets those, but blue team, oh, again. I think people are DIing it up now. Yeah. And you can't, you can't get anything as Lucario if they DI it up and you can't land the up air. Right. That, you know, a lot of times it would be that you're doing the down and away combo DI and you get caught by the neutral air afterward. Oh, Game & Watch, he, he got hit by the coin, but Game & Watch never has anything to be afraid of when he's recovering. So. Loyal, Loyal, see, Loyal's giving him a hard time getting back to the stage. Sosa needs to help him out. Oh, yeah, really good use of his up V2. He's been just getting out of scary situations all the time. <laughs> give, it, give an IPK his credit card. Now, this is one stock a piece, so oh. anybody can, t can take this game right now. Yeah, and Sosa's got the waft. Whoa, what a whiff. What a whiff waft. Game & Watch getting back. Really has to be careful about Bagels off stage. Okay. That hair, and this is all up. Sick. There it is. Loyal turned it up the last two games. Oh, yeah. And, and again, I saw it time and time again. Anytime I was looking for Bagels, you know, again, he likes going to the ledge. But anytime he was there, Loyal was not far away. He was stuffing him with F tilt, down tilt at every opportunity he can. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Loyal has been getting some like, he's been setting up well in the neutral game and then getting strong punishes and hardly ever getting punished himself. I think he's the least comboed character here. Pretty you know, much. He just up B's away safely, but he stays close enough that it's not easy to get long combos on IPK either. Big right. asset to his team. And a, a lot of the follow-ups you're gonna see that are gonna potentially take out Game & Watch, Sosa's very good at connecting with up throw up air, but that takes a while. We haven't seen that oh. pretty much at all. IPK finally connecting with an up B Nair. Not quite getting it yet. That My god, the Incredible. That was phenomenal. There, Bagels quickly feeling a little bit more comfortable now with his left dash. Mm. Riding Ooh. that up air. So it's a clapping him back. And we're dead even. Oh, forward tilt. I love the Wario forward tilt. All right. Oh my goodness, he just didn't press up B? I think he, well he had used his up B to get to that point. Oh, okay. He was far, yeah. wow. And we've already seen a few level threes telling me Loyal's really fishing for these nines, but he hasn't really hit, connected any of them. Mm -hmm. But connecting? That was a three, I think with one dot, that means he's pretty likely to get a nine on the next one. Right, I mean the Unless way it works, if you get like a five and a seven, then the next one's either a one, three, or a nine, but it can't be any of the previous. Right, right, it can't be the previous two, and the dot tells you whether it's odd or even. Exactly. So yeah, so we'll see. I'm sure eventually we're gonna see a nine because I really don't know. Red team, you know, we're seeing four stocks to four, but it's oh, just so been so aggressive edge guards. Such a good job edge guarding that. Almost edge guarded that that uh, that loyal right there. 
IPK had a phenomenal combo going on Bagels, but just barely misses, and it costs him. Mm -hmm. Keeping it close, but uh, you know, it's like one and a half to two stocks up from blue team. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> this whole match, it's literally just been who's able to keep one off the stage and get better stage control. Because every time, again, you know, I'm seeing this time Loyal, we're seeing much better earth guards. Sosa has much more experience, to my knowledge, in that matchup. So he's been really smart about it. And Bagels has just been putting on the damage. Yeah. I love the way that, that IPK hits that Nair and then um, down Bs back to the stage immediately to start helping out Loyal. Red Team definitely has a chance. Oh, oh, oh God, commentator when, curse. When you have the, the misfire Oh, and combo the on both. He doesn't care how many people he's hitting with up being air, as long as it's not zero. Now here's the thing, he's gonna be patient. He's got a waft, and if Bagels wants, he can fish for a misfire. So there are so many kill options that are on board right now for Blue Team. Right, IPK tested their patience in two of these situations. And there we go. This goes. one, and the game before, at the end of it, he was yeah. he was sitting there going, uh, like, are you gonna do the right thing? And, and Bagels and Sosa are like, Absolutely, will camp. We'll, we'll know. We know. We know. <laughs> that's I, that's the right thing, you know. Right. You gotta. If you have the advantage, you stay back. Your opponent comes to you. If that's what you want, you're allowed to do that because you have percent on them, and the timer is pressuring them. Right. So blue team taking that. Here's the thing. Of course, we're gonna see FD like auto ban because Sosa absolutely hates that stage, and I can't imagine that uh, Bagels likes it too much either. Um, but nevertheless, we're going to FOD. And this is a bit of an interesting option just because Game & Watch adores this stage. His down air can poke through the platforms. Nair's going to kill earlier. And I don't know. I think this is more a uh, Loyal's comfort, uh, comfort pick to some degree. Um, and IPK's all right with it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, I always think of FOD as a stage with really big combo opportunities because of the, the way the platforms work. Right. But also kind of random. <laughs> you just get platforms popping up on you, messing up your edge guards. Okay, blue team members whew, both down. Red team takes to the ledge, but Sosa immediately stuffing IPK's oh, non frame and perfect. As well. oh. oh! Wow, reads it. Yeah, back air trade with Nair. I mean, you know, Luigi Nair trades with everything. It's kind of like Guile's theme. Again, there's a reason that, that A button's green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for the, for the Weege himself. And also, we, you know, I was saying the the pillars or the the combos that Game and Watch loves. We're seeing it already. Ooh. Oh, let's go, Sosa! One of the few ways, like, if you have a spike that can cover that area right next to the the stage, that's a really good way to. Oh, Bagels Ooh. finds himself caught underneath. Ooh, that was an ugly recovery. But uh, it's a good way to to you know kill Game and Watch. One way is with invincible nares right. uh, from Edge. Those are generally good. Another is a. Uh, Something like that from Sosa, covering right. that whole vertical space right next to the edge. Yeah, and I mean, he may have a really good grab box, but you can't grab the ledge <laughs> when somebody else is. Plus, you can, you know, get those invincible hitboxes out there. So he's definitely edge guardable. Blue team yeah. finding a way. Oh, yeah. So um, I think Sosa's kind of been squandering his wafts. I think they would be better used as guaranteed confirms, and he's been using them to sort of fish for random kills. Yeah, he's not really going for any of the guaranteed stuff right now. He's going for a lot of reads. And it has worked out for him. We have seen him uh, read a couple of Loyal's double jumps to get some kills, but Waft is not something you want to just throw out. And he wasn't really doing that in the first game, which makes me wonder, maybe Red Team is just not giving him those guaranteed opportunities, and he's saying, well, I'm not going to sit on my Waft all game. Got to use it for something. Right, and then again, you know, the oh, early... Again. Oh, again! No. Clutch low percent kill. Yeah, and I mean, basically doing that, it's gonna put you to almost even. Not a great DI from Sosa. That's Not it. alive anymore. Yeah. Definitely dead now. And Bagel's in a bad situation. <gasps> Nair would have normally covered that, but he was a little bit late. Oh no. Yeah, that was that was a weird hit. And Nair not quite enough to finish off IPK. Everyone's oh, and he all gets him back. Place. Oh my god. And we're at a 1v1 AZ once again versus SoCal. Fuck Arizona! Hey, 
crowd with choice words about bad. AZ. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no. oh, dang. I was going to say, until that nice, good DI downward on those jabs so that he could use that up B to get out before any punish came out. Loyal oh, has to play so, so safe. Yeah, he's got to stay, you know, over halfway into the state. Oh, and he yes. does it. Loyal down tilting that. A back. manhole to the feet is going <laughs> to take the stock. Wow. And that is Sosa and Bagels getting knocked into losers by IPK. Or no, wait. Sosa, Bagels, Loyal, AP. Yeah, <laughs> that. You had it right. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, that was, and that's the thing too, because a lot of people think, oh, Luigi's approach is the ridiculous, what do I do against them? A shield, because down smash is not that safe. Jab's really good against shields, so be wary. But again, you throw out a hitbox, like any other wave dash, you have, I think it's 10 frames of landing lag that you have to go through before you can act. And that down tilt's gonna stuff that every time. He goes for that up smash, he might have an invincible head. His, right. his feet aren't. That's, the, uh, aren't. <laughs> that's the, the problem, the wave dash dancing, much farther than dash dancing. Oh yeah, but especially also Luigi. more punishable. Dashes are, you know, pretty non-committal, especially if you can pivot, um, and you can always wave dash out of a dash. Whereas mm -hmm. wave dashes, you do have that ten frame landing. Right. right, and you know, to look at it too, 